welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back, fanboys. Be advised, this video contains the absolute truth, may cause hurt feelings, and the need to thumbs down the video. Look, let's just dig right into it. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre wants Canelo Alvarez to take a pay cut. Are you serious? Let's just break it down. And Demetrius Andre did a recent interview, according to BoxingScene.com, where he comes out and rejects the talk that he should take a pay cut and goes on to say that Canelo Alvarez... Triple G and Anthony Joshua should all take pay cuts. The only thing that's perplexing about this is Demetrius Andre is nowhere near, you know, in the line of fame as these guys. He nowhere near has their star power, their selling power. He can't put butts in seats like these guys do. But yet somehow this guy wants these guys to take pay cuts in him. To not, it doesn't make sense. You know, he basically came out and stated, and I quote, maybe stop paying Anthony Joshua all that money. Uh, you know, uh, maybe stop paying Canelo Alvarez all that money. Maybe stop paying Triple G all that money and everyone else should be happy with what they're getting. Now, you have to understand what's going on at this time and why people would want people to take pay cuts and things like that is because these guys are fighting in a, you know, a coronavirus COVID-19 era. So basically, this is an era where guys are fighting and there's not really any live gates. And if there is a live gate, it's very, very minimal. So you have to understand that there's millions of dollars being lost by guys not being able to fight with the live actual gate. And, and you know, when you look at a guy like Demetrius Andre, he's saying, why should I take a pay cut when these guys are making massive amounts of money? But what Demetrius Andre simply doesn't understand is economics. It's not about what you want to get paid. It's not about what you think is fair or right or equal. It's about none of those things. It's simply based on economics. So what the economics dictate is, you get paid what you're able to generate. Triple G, whether you like him or not, he put butts in seats. He sells fights. That's what he does. Whether you like him or not, whether you, you know you agree with Triple G or not, that's what he does. Canelo Alvarez, the same. Anthony Joshua, the same. Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Joshua are global superstars. So those are two different things altogether. At the end of the day, Demetrius Andre is absolutely delusional. When you look at Canelo Alvarez, this is a guy who is getting over 20 plus million viewers from Mexico alone for his fight. 20 plus million viewers from Mexico alone. Can Demetrius Andre even get 20 viewers from Rhode Island? Let's just be real about the situation. Canelo Alvarez has the biggest and richest, most lucrative contract in sports history with the zone at five years, 11 fight deal for 365 million. Demetrius Andre is paid nowhere near that. His actual compensation is boo boo compared to that. Let's just be honest and unbiased about it. Canelo Alvarez is a face of boxing for a reason. Not only does he sell, but he also has fought the best in the division. He's also fought, you know, Gennady Golovkin. He's also fought Danny Jacobs, Sergey Kovalev, Idis Landy Lada, Floyd Mayweather. He's already a Hall of Fame fighter at this point in his career at 29 years old, three years younger than Demetrius Andre, and he's a Hall of Famer while Demetrius Andre is still up in the air. Let's just be real about it. He's a, a superstar in the sport of boxing. When you look at Anthony Joshua, you see that Anthony Joshua is a superstar in the sport of boxing. He's a global superstar. He's an icon. The guy, you know, when he fought Vladimir Klitschko, he sold out an arena. This is the same guy who broke pay-per-view records with that same fight. Then he turns around and regains his title and beats Andy Ruiz, and he breaks pay-per-view records in the UK again. You see what he's doing. These are massive numbers. Uh, you know, when you see Anthony Joshua even broke the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor uh, pay-per-view record. So let, let's be real. Demetrius Andre is nowhere near where either one of these guys are. He's even garbage truck juice for thinking he is. And what is Demetrius Andre sales like? What is his fight and his viewership like? Well, let's take a look at Demetrius Andre's last fight. His last fight, he fought on the same card as YouTubers, a sideshow gimmick attraction. And yet he was fighting on a Thursday night wasn't a pay-per-view fight wasn't a big fight and when he came up after the youtubers half of the arena left half of the arena left this goes on to prove that demetrius andre couldn't sell out a wing dinner you can't sell out a wing dinner but you want canelo alvarez to take a pay cut are you stupid 
or are you just simply dumb? We got to be real about this guy. And then when you look at his resume, you kind of understand why he can't sell out a wing dinner. You see the last three fights on his resume, Maja Sulecki, Arthur Akavov, and Luke, you know, garbage can Keeler. Look, at the end of the day, he's fighting garbage truck juice, fight in, fight out, and making excuses that people don't want to pay him. But this guy is pulled out more than a guy who doesn't want to get his girlfriend pregnant. Go do your research. Look at the history. We've been over this. We know who Demetrius Andre is. He doesn't want to take the real smoke. This guy is nothing but smoke and no fire. Let's be honest and, and unbiased. And look, look at what Demetrius Andre is making right now. According, you know, to sports... It states that Demetrius Andre guaranteed purse for the Luke Keeler fight was $1.5 million. So his guaranteed purse was $1.5 million for his last fight. And so, you know, at this point, he, if he takes a pay cut, what are you making? 500000 So he desperately needs a live gate. He desperately needs a superstar to take a pay cut so he can still make at least that $1.5 million. Because if they don't, his purse is going to be cut more than in half. Let's be real about it. This is all about money for Demetrius Andre. It's not about fighting the best. It's not about legacy. It's not about being great. This guy is 32 years old with no significant wins on his resume and always talking about how people are ducking him. You need to do your history. This is a fanboy god. This is your king. This is the guy you think is the best who's 32 year olds with nobody on his resume and is afraid to get into the ring with anybody without a pay cut. Let's be real about it. Look at Canelo Alvarez. And you know, just to give Demetrius Andre what he wants, is he even paying attention to what's going on? Canelo Alvarez has already been reportedly to take a pay cut for his next fight because there's no live gate, because he's going to have to pay a fighter much, much less. At the end of the day, that's what he's going to do. But these guys are still going to be getting very good paydays. And most of them are still going to get career high paydays. Even looking at this, in 2019, Canelo Alvarez to just try to make the Sergey Devrianchenko fight. Sergey Devrianchenko, you know, his highest payday before, you know, while he was negotiating with Canelo Alvarez was 500000 When he started negotiating with Canelo Alvarez, he asked for $7 million. Canelo Alvarez was willing to drop $4.1 million out of his own purse to make that fight happen. And the, you know why the fight didn't happen? Because Sergey Devrianchenko was still demanding $7 million. These guys simply don't want to take the risk. So Canelo Alvarez is already lowering his purse for his next fight. Canelo Alvarez already tried to lower his purse for previous fights. This guy is trying to get fights made and he's already a Hall of Famer. Let's be real about it. And then let's, let's, let's not play on this. This is the real reason why Demetrius Andre is garbage truck juice. This is the real reason why he's fought nobody but tomato cans and he's 30 years old. This is the reason why he's not a Hall of Famer. This is the reason why he's holding that belt hostage. This is the reason why he's all smoke and no fire. This is the reason. Demetrius Andre came out plain as day and stated that he's not fighting Canelo Alvarez behind closed doors. Which means if it's, if it's behind closed doors, there's no live gate. If there's no live gate, he doesn't get an $8 million payday, which he's desperately wanting. We got to be real about it. We see that it's all about a payday. He doesn't truly believe he can beat Canelo because if he did, he would be willing to take that fight behind closed doors in his grandma's living room, wherever he can, just to prove to the world that he's better than Canelo in the rematch. He'll generate so much money that he'd be a major success. But we all know that's not going to happen. Demetrius Andre simply knows that Canelo Alvarez is too dangerous of a fighter to take anything less but a quadruple whatever he normally makes as his payday. Look, let's just be real about it. Look at Demetrius Andre. Just think about it for a second. This guy's 32 years old, fought nobody, calling out all the big names. And you see, he really doesn't want to fight for anything other than a payday. If you're supporting this guy, you're an idiot. If you think that Demetrius Andre is being avoided, you're an idiot. If, he think, if you think he's the boogeyman, you're an idiot. It's simply about a payday with Demetrius Andre. You want to know why Demetrius Andre wasn't being seriously considered for Canelo Alvarez's next fight in September? Do you want to know why? It's simply because he refused to fight behind closed doors. He refused to fight him behind and close or these are his words so if you have a problem with it you need to check him let's just be honest and unbiased